Yo lads, before we get into this video, I just want to say we are very close to 50,000 subscribers on the channel. It's a massive milestone for me personally, and every subscription that you guys give to me, honestly, it means a whole lot. It's incredibly motivating to continue this YouTube journey, and I'm very grateful for all the support that we got in the late, in the last pretty much week. The last Division Rival Awards video did incredibly, so if you guys do go in to enjoy this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new around here. Let's get into the video. How is it going lads, and welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see, we are under two minutes away from collecting our rank one division five foot rival rewards. Now, what I thought I would do for this video is actually show you guys the team that I used. I called it batch team because I don't know. I just thought I was funny really. Now I actually started off pretty well and then had a very, very, very poor turn sort of midway through my foot rivals experience. So I changed my team up from a 4-3-2-1 team to a 4-4-2 brackets 2 team. Now this is what the team is currently looking like. New additions are the likes of Desai, who's only played five games. I'm actually quite a fan of this card. David Myler recommended him to me. He asked him in his team and was really liking him. So I thought I'd pick up Desai and I had a lot of success with him actually. My own only gripe with Desai is his passing and dribbling is very, very bad in game. Not enjoyable at all, but it's kind of expected and kind of obvious looking at the base card. However, he does pretty much get and cut, he, sorry, catches up with everybody, pretty much gets every single ball. He wins every ball in the air and he's fantastic. I also brought in Gabby Jesus, who for eight games has contributed to eight goals. He's actually great at assisting people like, like Aubameyang, of course, who in 35 games has contributed to 34 goals, which in my opinion is pretty good. We also have Mares on the right, who is one of my favorite players in the whole game. We have Alexis on the left and the rest of the players are un pretty much untouched from the last time that we, uh, we looked. Now, I currently have about 164,000 in coins in the bag. Um, if I was to go liquid on this account, I would probably have about 1.1, 1.2 million. Uh, actually, no, I've got a bunch of plays in the club. Maybe a lot more than that, actually. Maybe like 1.3, 1.4 million. However, I don't really use this account for playing games, actually. I don't play games at all. Um, I, I just, uh, I, I played for, for rank one this week and I'll probably play for rank one most weeks. However, uh, I don't touch this account at all apart from that. I use the Rotor Glory account. I uh, do a Rotor Glory if you want to check that out. Link in the description to my second channel where you can check out the Road to Glory. We'll have some uh, Division Rival awards on that account. Uh, sorry, on that channel uh, later on today. So anyway, enough waffling from me. We actually have our Division Rival awards. So it's changed from last week. They changed it from last week. For Division 5, you actually get either 250k packs and 415k packs for option 3. Option two is two, this is tradable, is 250Ks and 150K. And option one is 58,000 coins. Now, last week, you got 250Ks, 415K packs, and 235Ks. It actually isn't the case this week. Uh, you only get 250Ks and four Jumbo Premium Gold Packs. Now, I was expecting that, I think, unless maybe the 35K packs are hidden. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe they're hidden, and we'll see in just a second. However, I remember it last week saying... All four of the, uh, sorry, all three of the different packs. So maybe they're hidden and maybe we get them. I doubt we will though. Regardless, you guys know me. We're going with, of course, the untradable version. Now, a lot of people ask me why I go with the untradable packs every single time. And the reason is, is because I've got enough cards. I've got enough coins and I really don't need anything at all. So the reason I go with the uh, untradable version is because I want the packs to potentially pack something good. And I think to me, it's worth it because I can, I can put FIFA points on this account and do whatever I want and get a bunch of different players via that way. But I like to, you know, I like to get the untradable packs because I'm kind of addicted to packs, truthfully. So any and all packs are great. Hopefully that answered the question of most people. And we do get the mega packs this time. We actually got the mega packs. I thought I, I thought it was glitched. There we go. We get the mega packs. Wow. <laughs> rank one is incredible rewards. I'm sorry, but rank one is fantastic rewards. Okay, here we go. So we've got a total of eight packs to open. I actually thought they would have patched it because uh, if you guys didn't know, I'll quickly show you guys actually before I get into it. I know, I know, I know. God, why are you? You just want to make this video 10 minutes? Yes, that's true. Uh, but the rate, okay, we have to wait two and a half minutes. I won't wait, make you wait that long. However, on the uh, on the actual foot rivals leaderboards, it says that all you get is um, four jumbo premium gold packs or the 15k packs and two rare player packs. However, as we've just proved, that is not the case. You get two 35k packs as well. So in the first 15k, we get a board drop. It's going to be someone good. Spanish, goalkeeper, 
Moya, I think. No, Adan. I didn't even know this guy was a board drop. We'll take it. It's an 83 rated card. All 83s are actually super useful for the club. And I'm grateful to get the 83 rated players because it means that if we do get an SBC that requires maybe an 83 rating, which we know via EA from the last couple of years, is very popular and it's very, very... Um, it happens a lot. It's, it's, very, it's very frequent then we're going to have a bunch of players in the club. And that's one of the reasons why I take the untradeable rewards, because it will save you coins in the long run if you use these cards in SBCs, for example. We Do we get a board drop in the next pack? We've just got back-to-back -back board drops in 15k packs. This one's going to be Shinji Kagawa. However, another 83 rated player, I will take it. Back-to-back -back board drops. Maybe today our luck is in. Maybe we're going to get a walkout in one of the 50k packs. Maybe we're going to get an icon. Who knows? I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. However, not a bad pack. Now, I'm thinking about this because obviously I'm doing a, I'm doing a pack only Road of Glory on the uh, on the second channel. So I'm thinking about this, thinking if I was to get something along these lines on the pack only Road of Glory channel, I would be very very ecstatic with that uh, with how how it's gone so far. So um, I only got rank two on that account though. Sadly, I didn't get rank one. However, we move on. Can we get a third board drop in a row? That would be pretty legit if we could. Uh, no, we cannot, sadly. It's going to be a striker from England. It's going to be Wayne Rooney. That's almost an icon. That, that's almost an icon. In fact, according to hashtag Harry, that is an icon. So, uh, we've successfully packed an icon in Division Rival Rewards. And I would love to actually genuinely get an icon in one of these rewards. We get Mariano, who actually looks like a solid card this year. This card, I think it's like a three, 4,000 coin card. And he looks really, really good. A great replacement for Benzema, because of course EA cut Benzema's legs off. Sadly, they will be missed. Uh, RIP Benzema in this FIFA. If you guys didn't know, go just go and look at Benzema's card. They've done him with such a, dis a dis justice, a disservice. One of the two, I'm not entirely sure. However, let's get into the next one. It's not going to be a walkout. Can it be a board drop? No, it cannot, sadly. No, it cannot. It's going to be Ryan Bertrand. That's disappointing. However, now we are on to the big boy packs. And that is what makes me excited. We've got the big boy packs. Hopefully, we can get ourselves something good in the big boy packs. First mega pack EA, come on. Hook us up. Give us something good. Can we get a walkout in one of these packs? That'd be pretty cool. Oh, we do. We get a walkout. Let's go. Something good. Something good. It's going to be a normal card. It's going to be Senegalese. Set it back. Yo, Koulibaly. I will take that. 87 rated Koulibaly. Let's freaking go. That's our first walkout. And that is an incredible walkout as well. That is a solid looking card. You know what? I'm going to skip the animation. How much is Koulibaly currently selling for? Wait, let's see if we get anything else in the pack. Ooh, that's a sick... That's actually a really sick pack. We also got Nacho Fernandez, Hrodeki, Koulibaly. How much is Koulibaly currently selling for? I know he had an info, which might have bumped his price up. He's currently 50,000 coins. Yo, that is a really, really good card. He lost like four inches in height this year, which is interesting. Didn't know that was possible, especially at the tender age of 27. However, you know what? Hey, I can't, I can't really complain. You know what? That's actually a really solid pack. That's a great pack, and I'm so happy about that. That's an 87 rated card in the club. That's great. I'm, I'm super happy about that actually. And you know what? I'm more excited now to open the packs on the Road to Glory account. Okay, next one. Can we get another walkout? Let's see. No walkout, sadly, in this one. Can we get anything good? A board drop, maybe? We do get a board drop. Is it going to be something good? Dutch striker Depay? Damn, it's going to be Dost. I really wanted Depay there. Yo, that's not bad, though. Dost is okay. It's another 83 rated card. I really cannot complain about board drops. I really can't. Um, so, uh, you know what? I'm happy about that. We are happy about... Oh, we've got Wilfred Zaha as well. Yo, how much is Zaha right now? I'm pretty sure it's about 15k. That's another card. It's a 15,000 coin card, roughly. Yeah, 15k. An untradeable 15k card is always welcome in my club. We'll take that happily with open arms. All right, we'll store that. Um, is he? Is the one I got in my club tradable? He is not, sadly. And I already have a Malcolm in the club that is untradeable too. So sadly, I'm going to have to discard both of those 83s. But that's actually a really solid pack. Malcolm as well, if this were tradable... It, that that's a worth of how much? Let's have a look. Malcolm is currently going for on foot bin 5.7k. So that that pack alone was worth about 21,000 coins. But now we're on to the big boy packs. Now we're on to the 50k rare player packs. Here we go. Come on, EA. Can we get ourselves a walkout in the first one? No walkout in the first 50k pack. Can we get a board drop? That's the question. Yep, we've got a board drop. That's good. It's going to be Polish goalkeeper. 
Yo, it's going to be Chesney. Walsh at Chesney. 84 rated, not bad. Decent goalkeeper from the Calcio 8 or the Serie A. Keep calling it Calcio 8 out. That's going to be take a while for me to get that out of my head. That's not bad, though. Really decent stats this year, too. So, uh, I'll take that. Another great 84 rated and tradable card in the club. Very uh, satisfied about that. Have we got anything else in this pack? We've got Bender. Of course, we have. Uh, nothing really to shout about in this pack. And I already know both these guys are, uh, are untradable because I remember packing them in one of the other packs. Now... For the last 50k pack, I'm going to go ahead and submit some of the non-rares that we got into some uh, two player packs too. So make sure that uh, you stick around because we're going to go do that in just a second as well. For the last 50k pack, what are we going to get? Can we please <clears throat> get ourselves a walkout? That is the question. Walkout! Let's go! We've got ourselves a walkout. What's it going to be? What is it going to be? Someone good, please. Ooh, uh, Matic. Let's go. We've got Nemanja Matic. That is sick. Yo, I am very happy with my rewards this week. I am very happy. We've got Matic. How much is Matic currently selling for on Footbin? Matic is currently going for 21,000 coins. So all in all, we've had at least 100,000 coins worth of plays in this in this, in this this video. 100%. I am very happy with that. Yeah, let's go. I'm so happy with that. My rewards have been fantastic this week. They've been really good. Have we got anything else in the pack? Screenar as well. And Goretzka. Oh my. And Rashford. Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay, I need to see how much this pack's going for right now. So, Screenar, uh, or Screenar, I don't know how to say this guy's name, has got current worth of 17,500. So, that's currently 38,000 coins. Rashford is currently going for how much? Rashford is currently going for 26,000 coins. So, that's 64,000 coins. And Goretzka is currently going for <clears throat> about... 43,000 coins. So what did we say that was? That was 64, 43, 107,000 coins worth of plays in this pack. That is absolutely incredible. I am so happy with that. Now, I know I already have a tradable Goretzka in the club. So we'll send him to the transfer list and we'll keep the untradable version. I'm so satisfied with that. That has been more than successful in my opinion. I'm very happy with that. I've gone ahead and built three gold upgrade packs. I'm not really expecting much. I just wanted to go ahead and build them with a few of the plays that we got from those uh, from those packs. I'm so satisfied with the rewards we got today. We got two walkouts, which is two better than last week, as well as a bunch of other plays that sell. Obviously, we can't sell them because they're untradeable. We did get the value of the plays, which is what means a lot to me because obviously it then saves me. I don't have to go and spend 40,000 coins on a Goretzka. I can sell the Goretzka I currently have and I'm 40,000 coins up. And it, that's all just from playing the game. Same with Rashford. I essentially have a 20,000 coin player there that I wouldn't have to buy for a team if I was running, for example, a Road to Glory. That's where I see the value as we get a board drop in a two-player pack. Maybe my pack looks just amazing today. Who's that? Tovan? Yeah, I'll take that. Hell yeah. Decent card. Very decent card. But I wanted to say thank you all for the support recently. I know I mentioned it at the start of this video, but I also wanted to quickly touch upon it today as well at the end of this video. Sorry. Uh, I'm just very grateful. I really am. We've gained like 2,000 subscribers in the last like three or four days, which is just absolutely mind-blowing. And I'm very grateful for that. So thank you to everyone that is new to the channel that's chosen to subscribe, that people that are carry on watching the videos. It's amazing, it's very motivating, and it's just very uplifting as well, and I'm just super happy with it. So thank you all for the support recently, lads. It means a great deal. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoy, and I'll see you lads later.